Today we're talking about tripods. Nathan Cox here, thanks for joining us on Around the Home with Tripods. I just did a video on my Canon video camera that I use to make almost all my videos with. Um, I'll put a link at the end of this video for that video review so you can check that out. But how do you get a good steady video like I get almost all the time? It's really simple, it's tripod. People ask me a lot, how do you do all your videos? Do you have like camera people that follow you around or, or this and that? No, tripods. Tripods. Almost always tripods. Every once in a while I'll get my, uh, my daughter to help me. Um, you know, run a camera, and every once in a while I go off of a tripod. There's almost always, 95% of the time, it's on a tripod, okay? And when she helps me on the sports videos, she has her own tripod, which is the same exact tripod as I'm using right here on my camera, only hers is just a slightly newer model, okay? But it's virtually the same thing. So this is the Ultra Compact, okay, tripod from Monfrotto. There it is, see, Monfrotto. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it at a decent rate. What's nice about this is it's very small, okay? Look at that compact size. I can put this in a regular size backpack, school backpack, you know, something like that. And so I don't have to have fancy bags and stuff like that. And I don't have to have a second shoulder strap just for my tripod because most tripods, their legs only break into three joints. This one has a fourth joint, so it makes it a lot more compact and I can put it in a lot more places. So that's awesome. Now the thing that really drew me to this tripod in the first place was I was trying to do my kids' uh, you know, football videos and I was showing them with the tripod, I'm trying to follow it and it's like jerking and I just can't, I couldn't follow the video fast enough and it just, on a regular tripod, a regular $25 tripod, it's okay for just locking into a single spot and keeping that way, but for, for any kind of action shots it just sucked. Okay, this one here has a ball joint, okay. I don't know, maybe maybe you can see it kind of right there, there's the metal ball, okay, that's an actual ball there, so this thing can rotate all around it, and it has a roller ball, a roller, let's just stick with a roller, it's not a ball, right there, we, we turn it in and it locks, and you can back it off a little bit, and it kind of stiffens up, you know, until it loosens all the way and releases. Now there is a camera camcorder button on the side where if you unlock it, it allows you to, to slide on another axis. So if you're trying to do camera shots, you know, um, you can get some really crazy angles and stuff like that. And then it locks back and it really locks that axis so that it stays horizontally level uh, for your camcorders because most people aren't trying to do shots like that with a camcorder. Now you can, you know, it'll, it'll handle it, but when you want that axis locked, you know, there you go. Now what about locking the camera in, right? So, they updated this. Mine has a big square thing which kind of gets in the way sometimes. And it has a little screw in the bottom, you have to screw it up. So, on my daughter's newer one, they've updated that and made it cooler. Do you see that disc right there? Okay. It's got little notches on the side, so you just screw the whole thing in. You don't have to have a screwdriver with you to tighten it up if it comes loose. And then that ball, the ball, the disc, that's the, that's the disc, just drops right down there in the middle. Oops, I better unlock it first. So it just drops down and then locks in place and boom. Okay, so it's a very solid lock and it's very easy to use and you don't need a tool with you in case that starts to come loose. I keep a, uh, a penny in my bag for mine to put in there for like a screwdriver to tighten it back up if it comes loose. This one here, the newer model, it's awesome, you don't need that. Okay. So I've used these Manfrotto tripods, they're a very high quality uh, tripod and I've used them for years now, almost through all of my YouTube videos, especially the action videos, any of the ones I'm doing with kids at sports. So if you're looking for a higher grade tripod that's not super expensive, because they have some super expensive tripods that are better than these, okay, but for the price point, these are about, depending on, you know, whatever they were, you know, what kind of deal you're getting, they're about $65 to $70 a piece which is obviously a bit more than the $25 tripod, but they are so much better than the $25 tripod and a lot more affordable than the 300 on up tripods. Okay, so I give them honestly, honestly huge two thumbs up for these tripods. And if you're looking for an upgraded tripod from the basic crappy one, I really suggest you check these out. 
I will have Amazon links in the description down below, okay, for the tripod and for the camera and stuff like that. Not only will those links help make sure you get the exact item that I'm talking about here today, but it helps support the channel and my website. Uh, you, you click on those links, it takes you there, and Amazon gives us advertising credit for that. And we appreciate it very much. Other than that, I guess it's time to wrap up the video. If you wouldn't mind taking a moment and clicking on that subscribe button, helps us out. If you click the little bell on the right after you subscribe, it'll give you notifications when we put out new videos. Underneath that will be a link to my website where I have hundreds of more videos to check out. I have a couple of YouTube channels and put them all together there really nicely. And some additional videos for you guys to check out, including the review for that Canon camcorder that I use. Guys, thanks again so much. You have a great one.